my name is Zdenka Darula and you've probably seen a lot of my videos skating and as I was learning you know the baby steps from being very shaky in January on the skates up to now. gonna be almost a year from skating and uh, a lot of things has changed so I decided to make this channel a little bit more fun a little bit more personalized and open up so while I was in the past I'm gonna break it up I used to be a model I used to work 16 years as a model please welcome the lovely Zdenka Mika And you probably noticed how skinny I was. I was like a stick, I know that. Well, I'm still kind of trying to stay slim, I'm but... still skinny. <laughs> Thank you, but, but I was very, very, very skinny. And that's why I actually brought my friend here, Diana. Hello, everyone. My name is Diana Deschamps. I'm a certified holistic health practitioner, a PhD candidate. Um, I do iridology, lab and cell analysis. Like, I'm very well-versed into nutrition and natural health. And the reason why I got into it myself, it's because I was very, very sick and I decided to change my life and I researched a lot. I also gathered my mother and grandmother's, you know, finding and research and then combined them with like real new finding and research as well. And so I could help myself, but also inspire other people and help other people because I feel like there's a lot of people out there, they really need help. And I'm so glad, I, I mean, I'm so glad I met this wonderful woman. <laughs> accent time <laughs> the girl with the accent okay i'm so glad i met this wonderful woman she's incredible wonderful she accent. <laughs> i do have the accent <laughs> but i have an accent too my background i'm czech well czechoslovakian i was born in czechoslovakia anywhere i am haitian so caribbean accent so i do have creole french spanish portuguese accent accent <laughs> so it's like a little co a combination of everything because we're very mixed in my family so i can't really tell for sure which one of the accent i do have so right uh back to the subject i'm very happy i met this wonderful woman because she really made me feel um there was a lot of purpose in life she's one of the person she's very strong um when she came to my office she had a lot going on and i did recommend a lot of things but uh, they were all natural. I mean, I told her what to do, and she she grabbed she grabbed everything. She was she was fine with it. She was she was that strong. She grabbed everything and she went home and decided to change her life completely. And I'm I'm so proud because um, I feel like it's not me. This is not my job. This is her job. She did like 95 percent. I was only there to coach and enlighten her but she did like all the job by herself she went home and she decided to change all her life and i'm so excited about that so today we're here to inspire you and enlighten you motivate you with stinka <laughs> thanks so coming back to the modeling as i said i was very skinny well back then when i was younger i started modeling at 14 and i was 16 17 i used to compete a lot actually there is my proof <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> I used to compete a lot, but I always didn't do the eating properly. We didn't know anything about diets, you know, whatever we thought is right. So my way of keeping skinny was running every single day for 45 minutes, doing some Pilates and pretty much eating small, tiny portions, but I didn't know what. So sometimes my dinner was just apple and yogurt. I was able to drop about six pounds in a week before competition just to be extra skinny and of course when I was 16 I developed the thyroid problems because of that because of the poor nutrition so girls if you are getting into modeling 
be very careful. Maybe you should visit somebody like her. You know, some nutritionist which will help you to build up some sort of a meal plan and learn a lot what to eat properly before you hit some kind of a diet because in the long term you can really hurt yourself. And then, you know, I had these problems. So I got a little bit large, then I got skinny again, large and skinny, and then it went on. After that I had a children, I had a great, great life with the little babies around, now they are bigger, so I wanted to pick up something I like to do for myself, and that's skating. And with skating, I started in January, everything was going great, then I had a little mishap in, in the summer when my grandma unfortunately passed away, and you know, I'm dealing with it not exactly the right way, me and my parents in check, we had a little bit too much of the alcohol, that's the problem, <laughs> that's what it was. What? <laughs> Then I came back in September, went back on ice, and I started feeling very bad. You know, like I was skating for 20 minutes. I was ready to just pass out. I was getting very, very tired. I was dizzy. Just something wasn't right, and I, you know, I didn't know what to eat. And I'm like, well, I don't know what it is to eat. I had two eggs in the morning. I'm still hungry, and I'm, you know, I'm really down and stuff. So I said, enough is enough. I'm visiting Diana. And here it comes when Diana really, really changed everything about me. So, yes, yeah. so she walked into my office. Well, I've known her because um, I, I did some commercial modeling and uh, I needed her help and she was there for me. So when she called me and decided, well, I would like to have an appointment, I was like, yay, finally! <laughs> I was waiting for her for like one year. <laughs> okay, so I booked her in and then she walked into my office. And then what I actually did, I did some iron because I, I'm, a, I'm a certified iridologist. Uh, by Joyful Living Services and uh, what we do is that we take picture of both of your irises and then while you're sitting then I can tell you whatever is happening into your body. I mean it's a it's a it's a no it's a natural uh, analysis like it's not it's not something it's non-invasive so it doesn't hurt it's just pictures so people can even send me pictures or can they can even walk into my office and ask me hey I just want to have uh, iridology or some nutritional counseling right so we did the iridology and it was great um, she does have great eyes by the way <laughs> like I'm obsessed with eyes <laughs> she has wonderful eyes and they're very good for study I mean what, what are they <laughs> they're kind of bluish <laughs> I, I, I would think she's a mixed eye type, but it was really it was really great. And then from there, I could see um, she was struggling with a lot. I know some of the things maybe she couldn't really explain to other people or to doctors, but they were actually existing. They were there. It was not all in her head. I mean, all this hormonal imbalance she was fighting too with thyroid condition. You know, it's a vice versa thing. Like, it's a it's a vicious circle. Like, thyroid bring hormones, hormones bring thyroid, then they bring adrenal, adrenal bring hormones. I mean, it's it's all around like this, right? It's a circle. And uh, I definitely I, I wanted to help, but I was I was absolutely like amazed the way she just said, "Okay, I need help, and I'm going to do this." Okay, and then at the at some point. Uh, we saw some uh, even like some circula circulatory problem, right? Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot. She was dealing with a lot, and I recommended her first the healthy lifestyle. You know, I don't I don't like talking about diet. I'm the kind of person I really I'm really scared of the word diet because I did diets myself, and I feel like this scares people out. And at the same time too, it makes you feel like you stick with something that you're not gonna like, right? So I recommended her, please. We're gonna do a drastic change. You don't wanna shock your body, but there are certain food that are inflammatory and that are actually contributing to our problems. We have to remove them. And she definitely agreed. I mean, she didn't say a word. She was like, yeah, I'm, I'm completely up for it, right? <laughs> I felt so, honestly, I didn't feel good. I was scared. I was thinking about, I have the worst diseases, possibly the, the, the last possible disease I was already thinking very negatively because I didn't feel good. So that's why I said I'm doing this. No matter what, I'm doing this. I wanna feel right, I wanna be here for the kids, for the family. I don't wanna to skate too, I wanna to have fun. Uh, but I need to eat, you know, a little bit better. <laughs> it's a, yeah, I know, it was it was really tough. I mean, even the energy, like I, I know you didn't mention that, but so much energy problem and it was so tiring for you, like all this breathing problem and trouble probably skating. Mm -hmm. And then when she went into this, uh, like, incredible life change that was like all fruits and vegetables because I tell people like fruits and vegetables have only one name it's not long it's not complicated you don't have to really read labels as long as you make sure 
you buy organic and for the people who can't afford organic they can shop by the dirty dozen which is the list I sent you it's like a list where you can buy like regular fruits and vegetables and I think in Canada and also in the United States they keep updating it every year so you buy fruits and vegetables that are like uh, they're, they're the less sprayed or they're the non sprayed at all right so that way you can make you know you can <laughs> not spend all your <laughs> all the money from your pocket because not all of us can really afford organic and think I like we're the real proof <laughs> So um, that's what we uh, she did, and uh, we changed like we went all for like wild poultry, and then eliminated a lot of red meat in her diet. Um, inflammatory food like dairy, which most of you probably know by now that dairy is contributing to a lot of things like sugar problem, thyroid dysfunction, calcium out of balance, sodium out of balance, like a digestive issue that many people don't even know about, right? So even the organic one that people buy expensive, I would even, I'm not going to say avoid it altogether because I know some people listening to us right now, they're really high dairy consumer, they would like, hey, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but you can still have something. For example, I tell people instead of having like whey protein, you can have whey goat matrix, which is possibly like whey protein from cow, but different, a little bit different. Uh, because it doesn't upset your stomach as much and it's not as mucusy as cow. Instead of having like cow milk, you can have goat milk, sheep milk, buffalo milk, or even like I, I prefer myself, I prefer almond milk, coconut milk, macadamia nut milk, something that's not as mucusy and inflammatory as dairy. And that's what she did. Uh, we eliminated sugar because I think like everything, pretty much everything that you find in a superstore has sugar, right? So it's sugar, it's gluten, it's dairy. If it's not dairy, it's gluten. It's not gluten, sugar. Now, the point is not to avoid, uh, like, after dairy, like, for example, gluten. The point is not to avoid everything altogether, but gluten could be, you know, something that's also very inflammatory, especially for people who suffer from digestive issue, right? Because uh, you cannot properly digest it. It's, a, it's an invention that people use to make the food taste like, uh, like, how do you say that? I'm looking for the word. Like, <laughs> I'm stuck here. Like, <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. It makes it sticky, gluey, so that's why people like it so much. Mm -hmm. You know, when you take that little piece of cake and it looks so fluffy. And it's comforting. Right? And it it's comforting. Better, but... but they don't know that's what's causing a lot of other things. And then we talk about stress, emotion, that's all the thing we talk at work um, at my office too. Like, uh, beside the food, there's something that's called nutrition for the body, like body, mind, spirit, and soul. So there's a reason for that. So a lot of stress. Lots of uh, things that needs uh, healing into you know and, and the emotional part that's also very important. But I let the word to the uh, Zdenka because she has great important things like uh, she's gonna enlighten many people who are actually um, let's say for example athletes, uh, people that are in modeling, people that are like any kind of industry where people needs to understand that uh, healthy eating is important, healthy mind, body, and soul is important. I don't think anyone would be like if 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 you get in like for example if you get in a job into a modeling uh, agency right i i would i would prefer that they don't let you do these crazy diets but in in, in actually provide you with a nutritionist what do you think like maybe someone mm -hmm. to probably help you Pressure. in that field or you even know. recommend you to one so you can do it properly absolutely well luckily you know and those years when i used to do modeling was it 20 years ago uh, Not that many. <laughs> truly, yeah. I know. It was 20 years ago. It used to be the time that everybody was supposed to be skinny, but I wasn't allowed to have muscle. Now the trend has shifted. Now they actually like lean body and muscular a little bit, but just very slim. And really, the only way to get a little bit of muscles is doing a little bit of a fitness uh, diet. Let's, well, not diet, like fitness meal plan. Yes. And uh, that's what I'm doing now. I'm. I'll tell you honestly, if I knew that 20 years ago I wouldn't have to run those 45 minutes every single day, I would probably just work out three times a week and I would be already lean. Uh, because, because now in the month I shredded all the belly shrank and everything and I'm like, hey, that's incredible what you told me actually. Well, it looks like I'm like a six pack in, in, in a like, month or two. I have a six pack, I was like, what? <laughs> Holy, I can't believe it. <laughs> That was incredible. I was actually, I was like, whoa, that was like, did you see me like that was like three weeks ago? Did you already have like a six pack and everything going no, on? No, um, you know, six weeks ago I always had, well, because I had two kids, so I never really went back to, I was like before, and I was trying, I was doing steps every single day, I was 
working hard and my husband is like, well, you're doing something wrong, <laughs> obviously, because you're not getting the result. But he's not, he's not, don't get me wrong, he's not trying to make me look like an athlete or skinny, but he's just trying to help, you know, and, and find out why I'm not getting the result I wanted. And then I changed this. I'm still doing the same amount of sit-ups. I'm like suddenly looking into the mirror after four weeks. I'm like, holy smokes, my waistline just went like this. That, that belly I had is gone. And I'm starting to look really, really lean. I'm like, okay, this is the right way. And I don't have to work as hard. So just eating right, not too much exercise, and it is going to be perfect. Just moderate, moderate, right? Because none of us is actually going for the Olympics. I mean, yeah. we don't. We don't have to look exactly, you know what I mean, exactly like the same standard as an Olymp Olympians, like they call it, right? But it, did, it, it, it helps, right? So like avoiding, I'm not saying like once in a while, because let me tell you something, I'm not going to lie to you, once in a while some of us are going to walk into a restaurant with some friends and family, we're going to have to eat these things. <laughs> So that's when I would suggest people to always carry even like, you know, have a great probiotic. I think that bio -K is a very good one because mm -hmm. they are, they're the one who actually I'm going to actually stop for now. <laughs> I'll prepare a few things here, which are including my meal plan and I'll um, say exactly what I have problems with and what I'm doing now.